This one I didn't. I I I was afraid of my life. I did not have sex with her. Afraid of your life? I was in New York and I was going to acting classes and I was just going traveling back and forth. And uh, I went. I met this young lady on the train. She was this beautiful black girl. She had this afro and everything eccentric. I was like, oh look at her, you know. And she's like, oh yeah, well we, you know we can. I think we. We talk when we got something to eat quick. He said, Oh, yeah, we can hang out and go to my spot or something. I'm like, Oh, yeah, you young me. I'm like, Yeah, I'm about to get this, you know, something. Go open the door to her New York apartment, and it was dirty as hell. Dirty. First thing, I was like, Wow. Clothes. Like, describe dirty. Like, clothes okay. everywhere, dirty dishes. Just, just, it just looked like a mess. You would never invite was somebody. She, was she like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not cleaned up? Or was she just like, nah, come in? Like, she No, she just totally ignored it. That's what really got me. I was like, she was like, oh, yeah, come on, just come put your jacket right there. I'm like, yo, yo. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm just going to get comfortable. I'm going to go to the bathroom right quick. Uh, this is what really threw me off. She came back out. And the fro was gone. (laughs) Uh, The eyelashes was gone. The makeup was gone. She had these black scars that women get sometimes with the makeup. She had the black dark spots on her eyes. And she looked like Jaja Binks from um, Star Wars. And it was just like, all right, you know, you want to hang? And I had was catching the Chinatown bus back and forth to acting classes. And I was like, oh, man. Uh, uh, (laughs) The bus come at like eight something. I need to get on the train to get back. And... Time passed, and I missed the train. Mm. So she's like, you could just stay here. Mm. And you could just lay here on the ground and just on the floor and just cuddle. And Lay I know here she, on the ground? She didn't have a bed? I think it was like an air mattress. I think it was because we was on something really low. Um, <laughs> and all I remember was like, yo, I'm not from New York. I can't even leave. I think I was in the Bronx. I can't even go nowhere. I can't call my, nobody to help me. I felt like a little kid again. Like you're I wanted vulnerable my vulnerable as fuck. You didn't know where to go. You're I like, I don't know. I in I, a different state. I'm stuck with this woman. I do not want to be with. So and did she, you cuddle her with? The, I did, and I was like, you're like, I can't sleep waiting. Like waiting till the next train. Waiting time, for the, the morning to come <laughs> so I can get up and go because I know she wanted it. I know she wanted to get busy. So you just cuddled. You didn't. Nope. No. She didn't ask for more, but I know she wanted. But I was like, man, nah. It was just the most uncomfortable thing. I the whole night I was like. All of it. Okay, morning, morning. Uncomfortable, you know. This is. Not, but sometimes you, 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 you know, you would leave.